What's up dudes, Chooch out here riding on the Gatway M Super Pro and this is a little ride right here just to see how well this thing performs you know taking on hills and a lot of elevation at a, at a decent speed and right here I'm rolling at about I'd say tops I'd say about 25 miles an hour or so up this hill right here you know it, it, it is really cruising past bikers it's not struggling at all this thing really really handled this mountain well so we're in Boulder Colorado right here and this is Flagstaff Mountain and it's a pretty steep mountain um, it's really popular for downhill longboarders uh, I've actually hill bombed it before on the M Super X I'll, uh, I'll put the, that video after this video if y'all want to check it out um, actually I didn't actually hill bomb down on the uh, M, M Super Pro I ended up taking some back roads down and um, some trails and stuff so but anyways the ride up was really really fast I mean this thing blazed up this hill no problems at all and I mean I'm actually going faster than, than, car, the, than traffic goes up this hill because I mean it's tight and winding and stuff like that so this thing just purred up it and I, if I really wanted to I could lean more into it and it would just take off even faster up this hill but I wanted to you know uh, conserve I, I went this ride ended up um, being like a 50 mile ride all through the mountains, various trails, and this was about a this is about an 1800 feet of elevation gain. It's up at the upper level of 1700, like 1785, something like that. But this is about 1800 feet of um, elevation gain from all the way at the bottom to where I ended up going at the top. I ended up actually going farther than what the video recorded, and. Um, I'll actually make a I'll make a video later because I got some really good footage coming back there at the upper part of Flagstaff Mountain. Like this is this is substantially steep going up, but once you get farther up to the top, there's like three or four turns up there that are just incredibly fast. Like the the downhill longboarders don't even go up that high because it is ridiculous. Like there's no way you can if you're on a downhill longboard, there's no way you can make those turns up there that fast. But I took the M Super Pro up there. And I took it as fast as it would go around these corners, and it was so much fun. I mean, it really, really was. It's, it's a cool video. It, I was going so fast, there was a car in front of me, and the car in front of me noticed that I, I was going, like, I was flying. And so they immediately pulled over. Like, they saw me coming up behind them on the unicycle, and they ended up pulling over just so I could go around them, you know. And they tried to keep up with me, and I was, I mean, I was, it was really sketchy. It was, a, it was, I was having way too much fun, feeling myself, for sure. But, um. This thing is great. Like you see how fast it goes around the biker going up here. So it, it, and I think I got to the top and I had like um, almost. I, I literally burned. I think I had 92% battery at the top. Like I started right at the bottom in Boulder, and this burned like nothing. I mean, it really was incredible. And then going back down, you really do regenerate a lot of battery. Like say if I took this road back down and just carved a lot. So like you see me. That's why like if you ever see me going downhill. What I do is I carve a lot, and what that does is it takes a lot of stress off the motor, you know, because if you're going straight down one of these hills, you got to think about it. Like, if you were to freewheel on a bicycle straight down this mountain, the amount of speed you would get, like, not using brakes or anything. So, that's why you see me carving a lot of times, you know, because it's it's taking a lot of the pressure off that wheel, and it's still really giving you a lot of regeneration, you know. And you see this corner right here, and you see how steep this road is. I mean, this, this road is extremely steep. I'm going faster than cars up this road, no problem, on the M Super Pro. And this is this is what the M Super Pro is about right here. So the, the new, wider, uh, 2500 watt motor in this thing is just incredible. This is where you notice, you're on flat land, whatever, you won't really notice the uh, difference in the M MSX 100 volt and this. But you get on hills and stuff, and it, it, this is just incredible. This is like one of those KTM free ride electric dirt bikes, you know, we're, we're getting in the territory of electric dirt bikes with these hub motors now. So this is incredible, incredible what you can do with that. I mean, look at that. Look how fast this thing is just tearing past bikers, you know? I mean, and you're, you're able to really keep up with traffic actually, you know, on, on roads like this, which is, I mean, I love it. I really do love it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna throw some music on and we're gonna head up to the top of this bad boy. I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the climbing abilities and things, how easy it just goes right up and down the path, no, no problem at all. You can really take these things long range, you know, you can really go and use these things as an actual vehicle. And I mean, people know that. 
know that with this kind of crew, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people that I've met around town, I tell them that I, I can, you know, ride up Flagstaff and into the mountains, you know, farther. Um, and use Flagstaff as a way to get up and down, you know, because this is a really steep way to go. If you take the canyons, like say if I were to take Boulder Canyon, I could go up to like Eldora, I could go up to uh, the high country that way, and that's more of a minuscule slope, you know, slope way, way less. This is a straight shot, you know, you're going right up the mountain, right up the elevation. Once you uh, make this peak, you're pretty much going downhill in, into the Rockies until you get to the continental side. So this is pretty much a straight up shot, avoiding all the canyons. So it's really cool. And it really is, like, this This is probably one of the fastest times of, um, of Flagstaff Town, any type of e-bike. Skateboard, uh, bicycle, this probably is record time, you know, going up Flagstaff. There's no way a bicycle is going to go near this fast. I'm talking no way Lance Armstrong is going to go up this thing as fast. Anyways, I'm going to play out. Y'all have a good one. It's been Chooch.
see a little um, little like opening right here, a little like parking area. And usually there's a trail or something in the back of these, you know, around. It's like a trailhead or something. So I'm always on the lookout to find a cool new trail. So this is how I usually find them. I'm just out and about looking, you know. Sometimes I use Google Maps or something or like that. But this is how you really find cool trails, just out and about looking around. And I'm nearing the uh, top of this mountain up here. So basically once I get a little bit farther right up here, it starts going, you know, kind of downhill. And it's a, a gradual downhill and you go right over. Basically, you can ride this all the way, like I said, to the Continental Divide. It's really cool. Uh, some days you got to be careful. Like during this quarantine thing, it's, it's really good because there's not too much traffic on the road and you can just kind of cruise around. But this thing handles great. It takes hills no problem. I love it. M Super Pro is awesome.